want to talk about pregnancy checks now as livestock producers gear up for fall. Joining us now is Dan Stein, our livestock reproduction specialist. And Dan, let's just start with the basics, determining whether or not a cow was pregnant. Okay, Lindell, it's kind of surprising. A study that was uh, uh, published in just a year ago stated that less than 20% of the producers even utilize any type of method to determine pregnancy in, in beef cattle. So uh, usually what a person does or a producer does will, will just be wait till the calf's born the next spring. However, that's not very economical to feed an open cow through the winter. So there are some methods, probably the most widely used method is that of uh, uh, rectal palpation. Rectal palpation is performed about um, usually between day 40 and 60. Um, you're pushing the limits uh, if you can palpate before day 40, say day 35, it takes a very skilled person to determine pregnancy by rectal palpation. Other methods, uh, we have an ultrasound that can be used. Uh, this can be used as early as day 28. Uh, if we wait till uh, about day 60 to 80 of gestation, we can go ahead and uh, check the gender uh, of, the, of the fetus. And uh, this again is, needs to be done by uh, a veterinarian if we're going to use an ultrasound machine. We know in humans there are urine tests that are done pretty easily to determine pregnancy. Is this an option also in livestock? Well, at, at the present time, there's uh, not a metabolite that is uh, passed to the urine that we can test like we do, uh, that we have in humans. The HCG, human chorionic gonadotropin, is the is the, what we are testing for in the human side of things. But there are some metabolites that we can uh, check for in the milk and the blood. We do have a progesterone assay that is performed or can be performed. Uh, progesterone levels can be monitored either in the milk or the blood. Uh, on a uh, cow, on a 21 day estrus cycle, if we test 21 days after either insemination or breeding, that animal, uh, if it has a, a low level of progesterone, we're very sure that that animal will not be bred because uh, progesterone being the pregnancy hormone needs to be maintained at least one, in, one nanogram per mil. Uh, on the other side of the coin, if we test it uh, day 21 and we do have a high progesterone level, that does not mean that that animal is for sure pregnant. So progesterone has a uh, very high negative predictive value, but it's questionable on a positive predictive value, meaning we, if uh, progesterone levels are low, then yes, she is open. If they are high, we may need to take, uh, check again to get a progesterone profile. Now on the beef side of things, that's not very, uh, really may not be an option to bring that cow in more than once to pull a series of, of um, tests for progesterone assays. On the dairy side of things, when we have that cow in the parlor twice a day, very simple to uh, get mm -hmm. monitor uh, progesterone in, in the milk. So again, progesterone can either be in the blood or, or the milk. Uh, there is some relatively new tests on the, uh, on the market today that test for a, uh, what we call a pregnancy specific glycoprotein in the blood. What it tests for is in ruminants, there is a specialized cell called the binucleate cell in from the, it's transferred from the fetal side to the maternal side. And uh, with that uh, passes this uh, pregnancy specific glycoprotein and we're able, able to test for that in the blood. That can be done usually around day 28. Uh, and again, as far as predictability, uh, if there is, as far as a negative predictability, is very, very high, less than 1% as far as uh, on that. If, uh, if that specific protein is not there, then she is not pregnant. But we do have about a 5 to 8% what we call false positives. And that comes from the fact that, again, once we have that transferred into maternal blood, we could still have an early embryonic loss and that protein is still showing in the blood, so we can have a false positive due to the length of time that stays in the blood. We, we're here in the dairy barn. We've also talked about beef cattle. Are some of these techniques options for other animals as well? Well, we do use, uh, we use uh, ultrasound on swine. We do use ultrasound on, on uh, sheep and goats. Uh, 
the thing about these pregnancy uh, associated glycoproteins is that they are specific to ruminants. So again, that binucleate cell is uh, on the ruminant side and we do have those tests for, there's companies that have those tests for uh, sheep and goats, deer, as far as those ruminant animals uh, besides uh, uh, beef cattle and dairy cattle. Okay, Dan Stein, great information on pregnancy testing livestock. We'll see you again soon. Okay, thank you.